In Dover, Delaware, a strange unidentified flying object in the sky, in the form of a ball of smoke followed by a tail, on September 10th. In Dallas, Texas, an unidentified flying object was in the plasma state on September 9th. At Wyandanch in Suffolk County, New York, a swarm of UFOs in two groups was photographed flying at low altitude on September 7th. For the fourth time in 2021, the same unidentified flying object appears, which is not visible to the naked eye, but appears in pictures in Brooklyn, New York on August 7th. A white unidentified flying object flies high in the sky, in Rock Mountain Lake, Alabama, on May 14th. On August 25th, two UFOs fly high into the sky in Buffalo, New York. In Dover, Delaware, a strange unidentified flying object in the sky, in the form of a ball of smoke followed by a tail, on September 10th. The unknown flying object, which resembles a moving red cloud, appeared at sunset, which appeared to be a ball of smoke, followed by a tail, then the tail was divided into two halves. Then retreated and disappear into the clouds. If we interpret that the unidentified flying object is one of the space equipment that fell, or that something has fallen from an airplane, it will be inappropriate. Because in this case it will continue to fall and will not return back into the clouds again, as if it was a destroyed missile or a meteor, it will never go back to sky. The most logical explanation is the interpretation of supporters of the theory of the existence of an intelligent extraterrestrial life. We talked about this before, the unidentified flying objects use many methods of camouflage and disguise, including the use of dense clouds to hide in the sky, and more than that, they may make clouds themselves to hide in them. The witness words to describe the sighting were as follows. A bright ball like reddish smoke with single trail turning into two trails. It was around 7.15 pm when my wife and I started to take a walk in our neighborhood. The sun was setting in the west with pink clouds in the distance. There was still blue sky left. That's when I noticed what looked like a dark pink cloud by itself and out of place. I stopped to look at it and asked my wife if she saw it moving. She said yes. Then the cloud started to move slowly towards us and with a tail like a comet. Then it seemed to turn away from us with two tails. It finally went from reddish to black then went into cloud cover and it was gone. In Dallas, Texas, an unidentified flying object was in the plasma state on September 9th. The unidentified flying object in white color increases in size and shrinks, and the amount of light emitted from it changes constantly, turns into yellow sometimes, and flies at a low altitude in the sky. The witness stated the following, This strange light has been following me outside for a while at night, other people have witnessed it. I don't know if it's a orb, UFO or whatever. I have zoomed in on it but all I get is light. At Wyandanch in Suffolk County, New York, a swarm of UFOs in two groups was photographed flying at low altitude on September 7th. The first swarm of six UFOs passed by, then two UFOs followed in the same direction. The witness said, describing the amazing sight. At approximately 7.45 pm, the 7th of September 2021, I was preparing to leave work. I am a mechanic who services a fleet of diesel trucks, and have a large garage door, facing due east, that I shut every night. As I was exiting this door, I noticed a bright orange light directly in front of my line of sight, about 5 degrees above the tree line. As I watched it move north, I realized it was not a single light, but a cluster of six, roughly in a triangle formation, but each object at a slightly different elevation. I immediately searched for my phone to record what I was seeing but was unable to get it out in time, and began recording just as they went out of sight behind the tree line. That is when I looked south towards the direction their flight path indicated they had come from, and saw two more following after the first group. I was able to follow these two objects and record a video of them. They seem to display intentional movement, as at the point I began recording them, they are separated by some distance, and the trailing object catches up with the leading one, now traveling side by side. 
They continue on the same flight path as the first group of six, and just before they go out of sight, the object nearest to me changes its position in the pair, smoothly orbiting around the farther object, with no apparent change in velocity. All objects traveled at what I determined to be the same velocity as the two I recorded. None of the objects made noise, nor did they display any sort of direction indicating lights that you would see on conventional aircraft. There was no cloud cover. Shortly after I lost sight of the two objects I recorded went out of sight, two jets appeared from the west and traveled in the direction that I lost sight of all eight objects. I was the only person on the premises who witnessed these objects, but as of the 14th of September 1921, I have now learned of at least one other person who saw the same group of objects and was able to take a photo of the group I was unable to record. This person was approximately 22 miles east of where I saw them. For the fourth time in 2021, the same unidentified flying object appears, which is not visible to the naked eye, but appears in pictures in Brooklyn, New York on August 7th. We have published several previous videos, in which this unidentified flying object appears partially hidden in the clouds, and witnesses did not see it with the naked eye while taking pictures, but it later appeared in the captured images. The unidentified flying object in the form of a green ball that hides in the clouds, and appeared in some of the shots containing white dots arranged on its surface, then the unidentified flying appeared as if it had landed next to one of the buildings in some pictures, in an interesting scene. Can an unidentified flying object hide from view and only appear in pictures? We have shown this before in some previous videos that such technology already exists, and is constantly being developed by several countries. The witness said. I was taking pictures of the New York skyline across the water in Brooklyn. I didn't notice anything at the time I took the photos and video. When I got home I went back through them and noticed the object in all my photos at different positions in the sky for a 15-minute window in my photos. A white unidentified flying object flies high in the sky, in Rock Mountain Lake, Alabama, on May 14. The unidentified flying object was flying perfectly still in the sky when the witness saw it, and then suddenly moved in the sky at medium speed. I was riding my bike then saw an object that looked like a star even though it was still light outside. I thought it was just the first star in the sky and I rode up the hill to get a closer look because of how bright it was. As soon as I got up the hill and stopped, it started moving pretty fast. Luckily I was fast enough to pull out my phone and get a video as soon as it started moving. I got a pretty good video before losing it in the trees. It had a weird emission coming from the back and a weird part coming from the top of it. On August 25th, two UFOs fly high into the sky in Buffalo, New York. Due to the high altitude of the UFOs in the sky, the footage is not completely clear and cannot be accurately described but it seems that the UFOs do not have any wings or blades, and do not appear to be normal planes or helicopters. The witness said. About 8.24 pm, an object comes in from the southwest close to my house, heading north, displaying a light. It appeared to be searching for something. Three minute later another object, or maybe the same object comes in from the southwest and when close to my house make a sharp turn eastward, then abruptly turned north and continue on out of camera view. It also appeared to be searching for something, 